Hello students, in continuation with my lecture series of interference, today I am telling you the last heading of this topic. What did we revise? We told about Newton ring, how Newton's rings are formed due to wedge-shaped air film of increasing thickness thin air film between the plano convex lens and plane glass plate and the, the center of Newton ring always being dark because of the minima condition being satisfied out there. Now, today we will derive an expression for the diameter of Newton ring. Before we start that, remember two, three mathematical properties for the same. First, as per mathematical property that if I, this is the circle, of my Newton ring that has been formed in my experiment, then this be the thickness of the air film T out here, which we have derived here, T, thickness of the thin film. So if R is the radius of my Newton ring, so R plus R is 2R here, this much distance becomes equal to 2R minus T. Why? Because this is T. So R plus R minus T. This distance is 2R minus T. And we have taken up the plano convex lens AOB kept on the plane glass plate MON. T is my thickness of the film at any point and R the radius of the curved surface AOB. Now, we will be using one property of circle that is according to mathematics, which states that the multiple on either side, this PL into QL is equal to OL into GL. PL into QL is equal to OL into GL. We will put these values here. PL into QL is equal to R, radius of the circular ring. GL is 2R minus T. I just showed you right now, 2R minus T. And this is my thickness of the air film T. R, the radius. And we put these values here in equation one. We get R square is equal to 2RT minus T square. Since the thickness of my air film is very much less than the radius of the plano convex lens, we can neglect T square. Hence, we get R square is 2RT or thickness is equal to R square upon 2R. Now, for bright rings, condition of maxima is satisfied. So I get 2 mu T plus lambda by 2 is equal to N lambda. Where did I get this from? I have derived this above for you in my previous lecture here. See, 2 mu t for constructive interference plus lambda by 2 is n lambda and 2 mu t is equal to n lambda. So I put this value here and I get the radius of the nth ring. Diameter of the nth ring, diameter radius is always diameter is twice of radius so instead of rn i can write dn upon 2 whole square is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda r by 2 mu for air mu is equal to 1 so diameter of the nth ring is under root 2 lambda r into 2n minus 1 as you can see diameter of bright ring is proportional to the square root of odd natural number. This was once asked in section A regarding the square root combination. And similarly for dark rings, I will take the condition of minima. I will put the value of Rn here as dn by 2 and I will get the diameter for the minima. The nth and n plus 1th dark ring, we will subtract spacing between the consecutive rings may be obtained by putting n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And I get the spacing between consecutive rings decreases with the increasing order of the ring. This question has been asked in section C that what is the relationship? The relationship is square root of these natural numbers. This question was asked 10 mark question. Okay, what are the applications of Newton ring experiment? 
one application itself you are doing in the physics lab to find the wavelength of monochromatic source of light using Newton ring setup, right? Second, you are using this formula there, lambda is equal to dn plus p square minus dn square upon 4pr. And another application you can take of measuring the refractive index of any liquid by Newton ring experiment. So instead of putting mu equal to one in this formula, I will take the value of mu and I will get dn plus p square minus dn square for air divided by dn plus p square minus dn square for liquid. So refractive index can also be measured with the help of Newton ring experiment. Wavelength of sodium light can be found with the help of Newton ring experiment. This was the case of reflected light. Newton ring in transmitted light will be having the whole theory procedure concept same, but the maxima minima condition will be complementary to what we observed in the reflected light. Two cases of Newton ring are there in your syllabus when both the plano convex lens surfaces curved are kept like this. Then total thickness of air film becomes equal to T is T1 plus T2. You put the value of T1 and T2, Rn square upon 2R1 plus Rn square upon 2R2, and you get the condition for diameter when both the surfaces have been kept like this curved. And Another condition when lower surface is concave and the plano convex lens have been kept like this. Then in this case, instead of T equal to T1 plus T2, it will be T1 minus T2. You get the value, you put it here, you get the diameter of the nth ring as 4n lambda upon 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2. Quickly, we will do few important numericals that have been asked off and on. A soap film of refractive index 1.3 is illuminated by white light at an angle of 30 degree. The refractive in light is examined by a spectroscope in which dark band corresponding to the wavelength 6 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter is observed. Find the thickness of the film. So I know that the formula for path differences 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2n lambda by 2. We have been given i as 30 degree, mu is 1.43, n is equal to 1, lambda is 6 into 10 to the power of minus 7. From Snell's law, we know that mu is sine i by sine r. So sine r is equal to sine i upon mu. So we put this value here, sine 30 degree divided by 1.43 and we get the value of cos r. We put this value here and we get the answer. Similarly, I can, uh, let me discuss one more numerical on Newton ring experiment because Newton rings are always important from examination point of view. Newton ring experiment, the diameter of fourth and twelfth dark ring are 0 0.400 centimeter and 0 0.70 centimeter respectively. Find the diameter of the 20th ring. From my formula for wavelength in Newton ring experiment, I get d, n, d square n plus p minus d n square is equal to 4 n lambda r. n is 4, fourth dark ring n plus p is 12th dark ring. Diameter of the fourth dark ring has been given as 0.4. 12th has been given as 0.7. We square and subtract them and put the value here in this formula and we get the answer. So a quick recap of interference. What did we study? We began by coherent sources, then in, uh, the sources derived from the same source, interference in thin film, path difference formula for reflected light is 2 mu t cos r plus lambda by 2 for transmitted light 2 mu t cos r. Wedge shape thin film path difference is 2 mu t cos r plus theta plus lambda by 2 for reflected light and 2 mu t cos r plus theta for transmitted light. Then Newton ring experiment, we studied that the formula for wavelength 
when we sit down to find for Newton ring experiment comes out as lambda is equal to dn plus p square uh, dn square minus dn square upon 4 pr. Center of Newton ring is always dark unless and until there is a dust particle present. In interference pattern, we only see those colors where the maxima condition has been satisfied and the extended source is a basic necessity to observe interference pattern properly. Thank you.